In this video, we are going to demonstrate the functionalities of the Suite CRM email to lead extension. In the admin panel, click on the module loader option. Here, you will see the package of email to lead is already installed in the CRM. Again go to the admin panel and select the license module option this time. You can see the plugin is verified and currently active. Now back to the admin panel. In the record receiver section, you will have options either to create new inbound settings or see all current settings. We'll select the second option. In the inbound settings list view, click on the pencil icon to see existing settings. The first field includes the email address, which is set as an archiver. Other settings are password, status, and the target folder from where you want to parse emails. In the fetch emails drop down, you can choose what email data you want to retrieve. We're going to select a custom date and then enter the date in the adjacent field. Click on the save button to apply the changes. We have already configured the IMAP settings. Now, open the email to lead receiver and click on the edit icon. From here, you can choose the default targeted module like contacts, leads, accounts, etc. You can also add a target email address. Use this checkmark for taking new fields from the field mapper. In the customer source settings drop down, there is an option to save the email address of the from field. Choose the no email key option. If customers provide information but not via an email, enable duplicate detection. If you want to attach duplicate emails to existing history based on sender's email and subject and phone numbers, then click on the save button. These are some custom mapper fields that we created for email, website, and department. Next, open the email to lead process audit. Since no emails are received yet there are no records here. The leads module is empty too because we haven't got any email yet. Now, we'll compose an email. In the to field we have entered an inbound email address. In the email body, we have entered a few email mappers like name, department, website, and email. Finally, send the email. After that go to the process audit and refresh the page. You can see the record as created. Open it to see the detailed view. All fields like subject, phone, department, email, and website are parsed successfully. The record is attached to the history as well. Here, you'll see from and to email addresses and subjects along with the entire email body. Now, we're going to enable options that will allow us to parse default values that we entered in field mappers and also, save the email address of the from field. Click on the save button to apply changes. Here is the default value of the website field mapper. Now open leads module and process audit in new tabs simultaneously. Right now, both process audit, as well as leads module, have only one record. Again, compose an email with the inbound email in the to field and enter the email body content. Send the email. Then go to the process audit and refresh the page. A new record is created in the system. Refresh the leads module as well to see new records. Back to the process audit and click on the record. Fields like name, department, email address, and phone number are the same as they were in the email, except the website which is pulled from the default value. Now, open the latest attachment from the history subpanel. From and to email addresses are parsed successfully including the subject and email body. Thanks for watching.